So maybe you also heard someone use Germany as an example for a low military pacifist country. That's all bullshit. Germany is not known to wield extensive military force since World War II, but that is actually not true. And the statistics often used to prove that point is that Germany only spends 1% of their gross domestic product on uh, military spending. Which is true, but also misleading. Germany's GDP ranks 4th on the worldwide scale after the US, China and Japan. And except for the US, which has by far the biggest spending on military expenses, um, more than all other nations combined, all these nations spend 1% of their GDP to their military. But while, for example, China and Japan are perceived as strong military forces, Germany is not. As I said, the GDP measurement is misleading. According to the German Ministry of Finance, Germany's military expenses are about 33 billion euros, which is about 11% of the total budget. That makes the military the second largest expense after social security. Even bigger than our debt repayment. It doubles the budget for science and education and almost triples the budget for healthcare. Our constitution says that the German army, the Bundeswehr, may only take actions if Germany needs to be defended. That is also a reason why Germany is not perceived as overly militarized. But this law has been violated and evaded multiple times due to international contexts and NATO obligations and stuff like that. So just in 2014 German soldiers were deployed to nine missions officially. Um, the ISAF mission in Afghanistan, the CAFOR mission in Kosovo, uh, the Operation Active Fence in Turkey, Operation Active Endeavour in the Mediterranean Sea, Operation Atalanta at the Horn of Africa, UNIFIL in Lebanon, EUTM in Mali, UN MIS in South Sudan and UNAMID in Sudan. That's pretty impressive for a demilitarized pacifist country if you think about it. But in addition to that government side of the coin, Germany is also number 3 in exporting weapons worldwide, ranking in at 7%. And just to put that into perspective, Russia and the US combined own more than 50% of the market, so that 7% isn't as low as perceived in the first sight. The Manager magazine's ranking of the top 10 defense contractors worldwide had one European contractor and three German contractors on the list. EADS, which is the European Corporation, ranks on place 7, followed by Rheinmetall, ThyssenKrupp and Krauss-Maffer Wigmann, um, which are ranked at places set 8, 9 and 10. Why then only 7%? That's because many of the deals of these corporations are made outside of Germany and therefore do not affect the trade statistics. Also, German defense contractors tend to offer communication technologies, reconnaissance technologies, which are not classified as weaponry as such. Now, let me say one thing at the end of this video. Germany is not considered a world's nuclear power and has no public aspirations whatsoever to become one. The German people as well as the German governments over the last 70 years never had any aspirations to get the bomb and I don't think that will change in the future. That being said, there are nuclear weapons in Germany since 1958 and still are. The total number is estimated about 5,000 warheads. And even though they technically belong to the US forces, they are guarded, maintained and operated by soldiers of the Bundeswehr. By Germans. Fun fact, there have been 11 incidents with nuclear warheads on German soil since 1970. So the next time someone refers to Germany as a low military pacifist country, debunk him. Thanks. That's it for today on this topic. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next episode. Bye bye.